A terrible name for a 1930s gangster. Claude Von Spanky or Mickey No Balls? Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Just a Dick Tracy character, really. Well, dude, like, Mickey No Balls could have a totally hardcore story. Well, yeah, like, yeah. instead of balls, he's got two Tommy guns. <laughs> yeah, okay. He, like, unzips his, he goes to the bathroom situation. with his victim and unzips his fly and is like, Sorry, I've been holding this one for a long time. <laughs> as you can tell, I'm moving back and forth as I do that. Can I just say, though, the, the hypothetical situation that you jumped to imme immediately was very dark. He went to the bathroom with his victim? Yeah. <laughs> well, the dude he wanted to kill. Ah, okay. Yeah, well, he wanted to kill him, so it was wholesome, Rob. <laughs> he just wanted to kill him. It wasn't like a like a captive situation. It wasn't weird or anything. Dude, I I just thought of the best tweet. Yes. I Photoshop the B from the B movie in between Jake and Logan Paul. B is stored in the Pauls. Okay. That's it. Nope. I like it. Yeah. Tweet the photo. Mm -hmm. Caption, B is stored in the paws. Nope. It's not good. It's a good tweet. I'm telling you that as your friend. It's a very good tweet. It does you would not. retweet that. I don't even get it. B is stored in the paws? I get it because it's like. I mean, he explained it just then. You flip, like, the, flip the letters. Yeah. Worst toy store, build a blank workshop. It's so good. How about you? Wait, you don't get it still? Why don't you lift the fetters? Okay, Tell you what. <laughs> I'm going to Photoshop it. Okay. I'm tweet it. Oh, but I want to see his dick, and I want his balls to be bees. <laughs> <laughs> then tweet You it. know it's good because people are, like, angry at it. That's then how you know it's good. Or you're a coward. No, I don't call Kate's mom, uh, mom. That would be weird. I don't think I've ever referred to her by, like, a noun. <laughs> that, that is true. It's absolutely true. That is amazing. That is amazing. I just, I look you in her direction her. and I wait until she looks at me and then I start talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I never called your mom, mom, or your mom. Yo, name. did you hear on Saturday? The Our nieces called your dad his English name and I lost my friggin' mind. And next. What? They, What's my dad's English out. name? I don't know my dad's it's name. It's Harvey. They were like, Harvey, you look at this. What? And I was, my, my dad I was like, he's named Harvey? Why is it not Harvey? <laughs> I've been What's part of this fuck? family for like seven years. <laughs> Who is that? I, dude, I didn't know my dad had a name that is not <laughs> Korean. Does that mean I can have like a Korean name then? No, yeah, why not? Yeah? Sweet. Which oh yeah, are? what are all of our Korean names? I want to know too. I think Kate has uh, to pick. I mean... Well, what? Austin is Hwa Jong Shil. <laughs> no, don't laugh. I don't know what it means. <laughs> it ended in chill, so I don't know. <laughs> You're a bathroom. And then, sex. well, I don't know any other words that are bad. I can't make another another joke. Make up the title of a movie that is based on the first time you had sex, the future, or oh boy. Oh boy! There's like oh, a movie where yet, Kevin Hart plays a baby and Will Ferrell is his adopted father. <laughs> Dude, I didn't know my dad had English name. It's You're like telling me, man. I, now I have to call him Harvey. There is ramen. Oh. It's ramen. <laughs> <He's a little. laughs> it's, Nick gets a special right, one. Double. He's uh, chamchi kimbap. <laughs> that sounds like food. Why would you say that? <laughs> Somebody tell me what that means. It's just tuna kimbap. <laughs> yeah, but then, but then, if you pronounce it wrong, it's like a slang for lady part. Oh. But only, only like five-year-old kid will say it. Yeah. Or Ryan. Trash talk you would hear at a chess meet. <laughs> check late or give me that check, mate. <laughs> you guys Didn't ever you trash win? talk somebody at a chess meet and then you walked out or something? I played a mentally unstable like 45 year old once when I was 13 and I crushed him. Like six moves in, I took one of his pieces and he was just like, I don't know why I fucking came here anyway. I don't want to be here. And then he just walked away from the table while his time was still ticking. So oh legally, t it's like getting a win when someone's timed out of a video game. Like, I had to wait two and a half hours oh. just in oh case. Because I was like, this kind of scumbag 
He might come back at like 11 p.m. and then be like, mm, pawn to e5, hit the clock, and I'm already asleep, right? <laughs> yeah, that guy's a piece of garbage. He's probably dead. He was seriously <laughs> fucked up. This is like 20 years ago. The worst thing for an evil witch to turn you into, a Canadian from Alabama or her rotten evil butt plug? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Mm, or does it? How can a butt plug be evil? If it actively participates in the job of someone who is evil, yep. then you're evil. I agree. Do you keep your nose or mouth? Yes. You're the butt plug? Yeah, you oh, keep both. That's yeah, pretty bad. Oh, wow. You I'm suffocate on the fumes. I'm picturing like a witch from a Studio Ghibli movie. And then an hour in, she pulls out her butt plug for a second and it just goes, <gasps> and then she puts it back in. Oh my god, I can see it in my head too. It's so vivid. What do you think would happen if we found the end of Pi? I had a dream all together. Hmm. Oh, like there is an end? Like, like it just shut ends. up about it after that point. <laughs> Finally. Why do you think there's an end to pie? I got, well, no, I gotta interrupt here, because chat's like, There is no end, idiot. Use your fucking <laughs> imagination. <laughs> Maybe you just haven't tried hard enough. I don't think pie ends. It doesn't. No. But the idea is, is that if it does end, it would imply that it's a simulation. It would mm. imply, you mean. Wait. <laughs> oh, I would imp oh, oh, nice. Okay, I gotta get to the bottom of this pie question, because this it sounds really imply that there is a, the, a simulation on a computer <laughs> has a finite amount of space, so you can't store an oh, infinite sequence hey, that's, that's on this computer. Oh, hey, that's a surprisingly yeah. astute observation. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if it's infinite, it were not in a simulation. Yes. But, but we, we can't, can't ever know the end to an infinite right. number. That's that's kind of the, the whole So thing. this is not a question, it's just moot. Yes. Speaking it's, of pie... It's philosophy. It's theoretical, okay. I like chocolate satin pie. <laughs> Ooh, that is good. How, how do you guys feel about lemon meringue? Not bad, not bad. Yeah, what if our understanding of math is fundamentally wrong? It could imply that too, yeah, but I, I don't think that would. That would be crazy. All the math we know is completely based on the wrong thing. I don't think anyone in chat is real. <laughs> the point of math is that math isn't like we made up math. Math doesn't actually I know. Yeah, exist. some old it's... Greek dude, the year zero. We're still <laughs> oh, the going around saying universe. it like it's gospel. No, I know it, it's not real, but it still could be based on like a false concept that we could correct better. Oh, right. that there's a equation in it. I feel like math is more real than language or, or, or something. It, like a, yeah, it does map kind of to more real to things. The, yeah. Only here on the NLSS can you go from cam discussions <laughs> to the philosophy of math. <laughs> from nobody who holds a math or a philosophy degree. <laughs> right, yeah. The one phrase the NSA <laughs> The one phrase the NSA is tired of watching us type into Google. Why can't I use five fingers on campsite or geometry porn? Yeah, so if you have three apples, you know that the mapping of our number three maps to the apples, but the name apple is completely made up. Yeah. Let me That's what with you. Was to say. So is yeah. the name three. Yeah, the concept no. of there yeah, being Yeah, but the concept three. of three, not the number but that three. Wasn't yeah. that kind of made up too, though? Like, no. Hey, Taffy, I'm real and I want to eat your butthole. Oh, see, now you're definitely not real. No one wants to do that. I don't think about do that. When you, you can break down math because, like, the idea of infinity, right? Like, in math, there are multiple kinds of infinity, but in life, not only is there not infinity, but there's, there's not multiple kinds of infinity because what do you there mean? is no what infinity. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> I am galaxy braining right now. <laughs> what do you mean that there's not infinity in real life? Oh, thank you. You can't have infinity. Nothing is infinite. How do we know that? There could be infinite bacteria in the universe. There could be infinite space in- Chat, the only way to stop this bit is to use your bits. Use your bits <laughs> now on twitch.tv slash Northern Lion and stop this bit today. Cheer the brains away. I mean, the universe could be infinite. We don't know. Well, Austin's saying it's not, but I don't know why he knows that. It's, we, we can't know. know, yeah, we can't know that it is or it doesn't mean infinity exists. Well, there's some bits. You guys have to stop now. <laughs> <laughs> So I was looking at the tip of my dick the other day. There we go. That's more like it. Wait, why have don't we, we have about quaternions two, yet? Why don't we have two holes, one for piss and one for cum? 
That's all I'm trying to say. <laughs> I, agree. I agree with that. You I'm got with, me. Yeah, I'm off to infinity I'm, I'm, now. I agree, yeah. I just went on my Twitch front page, and there's... <laughs> Jesus Christ. There is a man wearing a bumblebee tank top and uh, bee antennas as, like, a, a hood, mm. and his name is Busted. Okay. Yep, I okay. see him now as well. Yeah. What's wrong with that? Playing some League here. He doesn't like look very happy. He's well, playing he's... League. Yeah, I guess that's kind of you. There Nobody is your, has a good time with that game. There's your code, by the way. Oh. Thank you, Australian Ryan. Oh, it's me. It's a rather Australian code, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> Slightly Australian Ryan. I'll actually call it Zealandia if you're being honest. <laughs> the best thing about going to prison, the great pudding Is selection the or Nick's pudding? Hey, uh, new people who just joined the call. Did Who's you guys hear that shoes? Ryan's never had pudding? I've never had pudding. What? <laughs> Yeah, I don't yeah, know. I honestly first the mac and cheese now. This. You know what's funny? I, I had mac and cheese. cheese. I had mac and cheese at the food truck festival. Yeah. Oh my god, mac and cheese sounds he doesn't so good. Even I'm like so hungry. I don't like mac and cheese. I, oh, jo yeah. Justin, Whoa. I'm so like mostly with you. What? What? I mean, what? It's not the war. It's not terrible. The world? I don't eat it. It's like here's like the thing. Like I've had it twice. Uh, both times I've been like, it's pretty it's good. good. But it's like, right. if it has yeah. toppings, I eat that top layer and then like a little of the bottom layer, and eventually I'm like, I'm just eating boiled noodles. It's so it's easy. Yeah, it's so noodles easy are, to I like. It's so. just it's fat, carbs, and cheese. It's I know. Not to like. I don't know. It's yeah. just it's kind of. I want some extra texture sometimes. I want like a little crunch thrown in there. Yeah. Put some breadcrumbs on top. Yeah, but but it's, once I'm through the yeah. top layer, though, it's... Then put more on it after. That's like, have a little the too thing much. And... You oh, need man. to learn how to partition your Mac. Okay, so take your pick. Is it easy to like, or do you need to take a course to learn how to fucking partition it? <laughs> Sounds a little like there's a barrier of opportunity here. <laughs> you guys seem so surprised by this lack of pudding consumption. I was yeah, never... You ever had a snack pack? Uh, I mean, I've seen them, but I've, they were never purchased for me. And as a child, I didn't purchase my own groceries as a result. What did you eat? Did you eat wood as a kid? Was it just because I didn't eat corn syrup and brown food coloring, I guess I ate fucking wood. I ate bananas. I, like I was definitely like, I don't eat currently, really? But like, as a child, I was definitely given a lot of pudding. I mean, I, I, I don't blame you because, I mean, you again, you're not in control of it. Oh, you know what? Ryan probably grew up affluent. That probably makes a lot more sense, actually, as to why. But pudding is not a cups. pudding's not like a poor food. Oh, it absolutely is. I you get like a so. six pack for like two dollars. Yeah, I mean, water comes out of the tap. Rich people drink that. <laughs> it's like an eighth of a cent uh, a glass. <laughs> Austin, tell me about your school lunches. All right. Good. <laughs> All right, that was good. Yeah, no, I'm no. muted. I'm sorry. Justin, maybe you? The best thing to shoot out of a cannon, D or done. infinitely smaller cannons. I believe the first one is a reference <laughs> to... Uh... I have two questions. Did anyone Wait, else have friends in high school or university that fancied themselves classical music fans, but then merely listened to 10-hour compilations of Paco Bell's canon? And the secondarily, Austin, was that you that was that friend? How rich were you when you were a kid? Yeah. Uh, <laughs> if you know what Paco Bell's canon is, you must be wealthy. Oh. If anyone in my high school admitted to liking classical music, they would have gone. Mm. You shoved yeah. it in a locker. Oh, yeah. Not that they should be. <laughs> Our marble I, floors I, weren't I even like regularly polished. This yeah. Is fine. I have no idea what the fuck you're talking about. Did you ever, when you guys were kids, uh, find high quality sturgeon from a local vendor? I had one, <laughs> I had one friend who liked classical music. What orchestral piece are we listening to today, <laughs> friends? You should be doing this to Josh. I'm with you guys down in the trenches eating microwaved hamburgers. I didn't even have an A&W. <laughs> it's bad to be buried alive. Okay, it's worse to be buried alive with bees. Or it's worse to be buried alive with James Woods. <laughs> yeah. I just, when I typed it in, I had an idea that was like, what if you made a Twitter account called James Woofs? And you just made the avatar a picture of a dog and then just tweeted everything he tweeted like one minute later. Do you think it would rattle him more than anything else on planet Earth? Well, no, like, don't, don't do that, but like, wait for a minute until after he says something and then quote tweet it and say, WOOF! <laughs> <laughs> like, literally every single tweet. <laughs>
<laughs> you probably just make a bot. I'm for being that. impersonated. <laughs> <laughs> you guys follow Chuck Woolery on Twitter? No. 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 Hear me out. So we made James Wolf's a real thing. The account yeah. that just retweets James Wood's terrible brain drool and then says Wolf. <laughs> Why don't we just make Chuck Wolfery? Exactly yeah. the same concept. <laughs> there you go. I don't know who Chuck Wolfery is. He hosted Lingo, you Philistine. Dude, he hosted like <laughs> every game show from 1980 to 1988. Very true. Oh, well, I was not alive. Who let the dogs out? My ass or who, it's who, who? Done. I get it. Dude, yeah. I looked up the Baja, man, because I was like, man, yeah. their life probably sucks now. Not true. Uh huh. Didn't realize. They play like four gigs a year. And it's always like festival, Disneyland, Disney World, Disneyland. Every oh, year. Wow. They're living the dream. <clears throat> Three gigs a I year. I will tell you about how, how they fucked me over you, once. You did, but I would like you to do it again. <laughs> the brief summary is that I had a record label forever ago. A for fun thing with friends. And uh, they pushed back the pressing of our first CD because the Baja men blew up because of that fucking song. <laughs> and they turned every machine in the pressing plant to print copies of the Baja Men CD. The title of Bob Saget's biopic. The guy who was in sitcoms, then edgy on stage, or full mouth. You could see that being the title. It would yeah. legitimate. I feel like he would make a self The real question is who would right. buy that biography? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Man. Oh. I just. What? I hate him so much. You hate Bob Saget? <laughs> you hate Bob like, to, to an extreme degree. <laughs> For what? How did Bob Saget wrong you? <laughs> it's so... Okay, like, I feel one. like his his What's stick was funny for like a minute, mm. and then it's just not mm. funny anymore. Oh, yeah. I thought it was gonna be like, you know, is. when Bob Saget's comedy album blew up, they took <laughs> up the entire printing press <laughs> and our album didn't any room anymore. Oh, I don't like this joke, but I got no time to do anything else. I'm so sorry. Is it offensive, bad? <laughs> yeah! Oh, boy, I'm, I'm excited for this one. Okay, I don't want to overlay my answers. Totally <laughs> excited. I won't, I won't do it, but I'm mad at myself. It's if not... It, if it, no, it's not that, that bad. It's just in poor taste. You've done the Black House. Yeah, Jackson. no, this is not necessarily worse. But what FDR You're meant to say fear. was, we have nothing to fear but each other's sexuality oh, or a voice. staircase. <laughs> Oh, God. I, he's in a wheelchair. Is that the- Oh! <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm taking that one, you're right. You're right, yeah. Wait, you really needed me to explain that for I it to be- I didn't know, yeah. yeah, yeah. I, I regret picking the other one now. Yeah, that's, I didn't that's get much it. better. No, I was not there. Oh, oh, no. No. You were not that's there. Good. That's not that bad. Okay, good. That's not I'm close back. to that bad, yeah. Hey, yeah, that's not- Come on. How many people have polio? He's a great man. He's dead. Yeah. An alternate name for the Mona Lisa. The Unimpressed Goober or Juana Smiley? <laughs> All right, I, like I like these. I, really I like <laughs> both of these. Yeah, these are, this is a difficult choice. You guys ever see uh, Juana? Yes. Man? Yes, yeah. I have. <laughs> right, yeah. The best name for an obese rapper. Big Jiggles or Bulimia Buster? Oh, boy. <laughs> 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 More votes for me, I guess. <laughs> That's a yikes for me. <laughs> I didn't like saying either of them. What? What's wrong with Big Jiggle? I don't know. It just, just didn't feel right to say. I'm just saying, if you guys want to call me Big Jiggles, you're more. I think Big Jiggles is a lot more wholesome than the other one. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to say it, and I submitted it. <laughs> Lil Plum, <laughs> so good. Uh, Lil Plum is real is good. good yeah. We've we've brought up this show before on this program, uh, Ultimate Beastmaster. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, yo, don't you fucking scoff, you son of a bitch. <laughs> It's a great show. It's a wholesome, entertaining program that brings countries together and uh, allows them to compete with each other. Part of my and favorite uh, television genre, adult obstacle courses. <laughs> mm -hmm. you, uh, a little bit of judgmental there over there, Skipper, I, huh? Uh, if you think that's judgmental, I think it's an objective description of what the television program entails. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Okay. Can, I, can, I go, can I go the other direction? And can I say, you know what? We should make playgrounds that are just for adults. Absolutely. Yeah. I'm 100 percent with you on that. That's Dude, those exist in Vegas and they are awesome. Really? Yes. 
See, that they're fantastic. Awesome. That's called the gym. You're all <laughs> the fun has been sucked out of your bodies. Like <laughs> a syringe was stuck into the back of you, and out came all the fun, just sucked out like a plunger. I mean, they're, they're just wrong in that case. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, yeah. the gym. I mean, if if your gym has like a climbing wall and a pool and stuff like that, that's one thing. But like, if your gym is like you go and you pick up heavy things and put them back down, that's not really like a playground. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's that's not how you played on the playground when you were a kid. <laughs> just, we just rock up, hung out rock by down. the field of rocks. Yeah, and just lifted the heaviest. <laughs> yeah, had a gravel uh, pile. I tell you guys, I saw a Bitcoin withdrawal station at like several Vegas casinos. I thought you meant for when you had too much and you need to detox. <laughs> <laughs> More like you need to empty. Geox, remember that was a, an exchange where they what is stole that billions Stop. of dollars from people. Bitconnect. <laughs> My uh, wife said this was a scam, and you know what I told her? Let's put all our money into it because I disagree. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. A good fake name to use when checking into a hotel: <laughs> Facefuck McSmashmouth or Robert Richitelli. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no one would expect Rob would stay anywhere outside of a cardboard box. <laughs> Why? What was that French laugh? <laughs> 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 One box to cardboard. <laughs> Why do you need a fake name when you check into a hotel? We don't to get spy, so, you don't so get we don't get swarmed by the thousands of yeah, YouTube fans that we all have. They're all just <laughs> waiting at every hotel across the country in case exactly. we stay. Can you just go up to a hotel front desk and be like, Hey, you know, is Lyle Overbay staying here? And they'd be like, let me check. Yeah, he's in room 1103. Okay, Dude. I'm gonna go kill him now. Thanks for the information. <laughs> when we used to went to when, when, we, when we used to went to when we used to go to the Red Robin and do the thing where we get the free food, we would have ridiculous names like Buttface McSparkle or something, you know. And really? Like, yeah, no, and they, they would not care at all. Huh. Well, it is Red Robin. Oh, okay. yeah, yeah, fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> They're like candied bacon and voluptuous spiced tomatoes, and I get the burger, and I'm like, where? Where's this shit at? The Jack Daniels Buffalo Spice Barbecue <laughs> Burger. The Jim Beam Old Timey Whiskey Hickory Smoke Barbecue Bacon Cheeseburger. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is a good bit. That's pretty good, actually. I like that. <laughs> the Patron Tequila and Lime <laughs> Jerk Chicken Burger with bacon. You can always just write out a list of that and just read it. <laughs> the Bud Light Lime Strawberry Burger. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that's awful. <laughs> that sounds disgusting. Yikes. We marinate oh. our patties in the finest strawberry Budweiser. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh Jesus. Here's what the Michelob Light Ultra Twask <laughs> Real Burger. <laughs> <laughs> the Erdinger Dunkel Deep Fried Wiener <laughs> Schnitzel. <laughs> The worst song to do pairs figure skating to. Crank that. I hate everything about you. Ba with the ba. I want to fuck you like an animal. Slayer raining blood. Let the bodies hit the floor or hurt by Johnny Cash. I can't believe we didn't have Who Let the Dogs Out on here. Oh, oh that would have been I felt like I felt like it would have. I, I felt it in my heart and I was like, it's just not, not going to do well. It also seems Dude. like one of those things that could have happened in like 2001. <laughs> Wait, I'm do sure. you think the universe would explode if the Baja Men did a like uh, a cover of All Star, and then conversely, Smash Mouth did a cover of Who Let the Dogs Out? Yeah, the oh, world they just... of thirty-one-year-old man children. <laughs> would I just, just... want to correct you. It's not called "I Want to Fuck You Like an Animal." It's called it's closer. closer. Yeah, I, yeah. I don't think everyone me. knows that. I thought you were going to correct me and say you were thirty-three. <laughs> 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 oh, let the bodies hit the floor, number one. I thought one yeah, more fuck you like an animal skating. Oh, 69, audience. Oh, that's appropriate, yeah. Perfect shot. number.
Corey, <laughs> if you're going on a bike ride, go for a long one, so I'll give you kudos on Strava. But I just want you to know, if it's not as long as your last ride, I'm not giving you kudos. Because I think that Don't would be reinforce bad kudos. Come on. You guys want to give him kudos on Strava? <laughs> kudos on Strava? Light marinated. <laughs> yeah, I was going to do the same thing. <laughs> Murphy's Irish Stout. <laughs> Flame broiled Strava, Strava burger with cooties. <laughs> nacho cheese, Bud Light. Also, wreck it back. Jose Cuervo nacho cheese queso. <laughs> <laughs> kudos on Strava, Strava kudos. Beef eater gin fried fish <laughs> in coleslaw slam. <laughs> 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 I'm okay. I'm fine. It's. <laughs> I just can't. I can't not do that when I laugh really hard. Malibu rum, fried <laughs> coconut shrimp, Louisiana poor boy. That actually sounds not bad, to be honest with you. That's all right. I think my girlfriend just yelled at me for coughing. <laughs> <laughs> That's disgusting, dude. Cut it out. <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> See, even she thought it was an affectation. Past blue ribbon, human flesh, sacrifice, burden. Yeah, I like it. Power metal. <laughs> How Jonah passed the time stuck inside a giant fish. He tried to take pictures of Spider-Man, or who is Jonah? You know, Jonah. Is... His name is Jonah. Da, 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 da. A biblical figure. He's trapped inside the whale. Get the That's well, who you is should, Jonah. You should have <laughs> <you should've laughs> told him, uh, you should have wrote down the Korean name. Then I would have known. It's probably Jonah, right? I don't know. Buy <laughs> our new Jonah. album. Learn who Jonah is. He was a dude who got caught in a big fish. <laughs> Did you hear about Jonah? Do I have him confused with Pinocchio? Or is that... I think they did this. I think they both did this. It's a Jonah. It's a Jonah it's a People Jonah gotta Pinocchio. stop getting fish. Okay. The sound a tree actually makes when it falls and no one's around to hear it. A shoosh. Or... Ooh, fuck, 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 new. No. I agree. Ah, oh, skeet, 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 motherfucker. Ah, oh, skeet, skeet, no, goddamn. Horrible. Goddamn. <laughs> Imagine a whole forest of trees I saying know, that all just day. Thinking that, dude. Oh my god, that's terrifying. <laughs> just walk into the forest. <laughs> they wait until you get in there and then they all start going off at once. Ah, oh, skeet, skeet, motherfucker! <laughs> Something pirates aren't very good at. Beating ninjas holds up spork, or having fulfilling meaningful relationships. They're only good at one kind of ship, and it ain't a relationship. What the abominable snowman <laughs> does when he's bored. Be less abominable, or he chills. A sign that you're pregnant with an evil baby. A middle finger protrudes from your vagina, or your yeah. mung is red. Oh, <laughs> you can't have red. That? I don't like that word at mung all. Mung is, uh, it's supposed to be olive green. Oh. Yeah, I don't like that at all. What is a mung? It's when a <laughs> pregnant lady has somebody pushed down on her belly, a little mung is released. Yeah. <laughs> um. <laughs> so gross. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty gross. Like that. Huh. Disgusting, man. Huh. The eleventh commandment: Thou shalt not, thou shalt not don't. trundle, or thou shalt not <laughs> touch this. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah, right. that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty good. Yeah. It wasn't a stretch for it, you know? <laughs> the worst way to spell Mississippi. Sissy Missy P. Okay, or <laughs> Mississippi <laughs> separated by other stars. <laughs> Is that fair? <laughs> oh. Gracias. <laughs> The name of a cocktail for Hillies. For, <laughs> for Hillies? <laughs> Just let that one go. <laughs> the Hillies have eyes. Hmm. The name of a cocktail for Hillbillies. A Huntington Beach iced tea or Sissy Missy Pea? <laughs> say that on TV. I don't like Sissy Missy Pea. It feels gross to me to say. <laughs> you guys gonna go hang out with some Hillies and get... <laughs> 
I got I got that shit she miss you. SMG coded bacon fried steak. Fuck. It's tough to really rattle them all together, no, honestly. I'm thinking I... now the next stage is you cook the steak with a gun that's being fired. Mm -hmm. Raunch in the Driz, sponsored by Gun Burger. <laughs> <laughs> so there's like, at the back of it where the kitchen is, is a firing range, and then they're cooking steaks and shooting targets, and then they just turn <laughs> it around and serve you. <laughs> no, wait, they have they have cows out on the shooting range, and you pick the cow you want them to kill. Uh, what Dude, about a that would restaurant actually sell? What about a restaurant <laughs> that matches the caliber of the gun that you bring in with the number of calories of the burger they give you? Yes. If you bring in a fifty cal, you get a five thousand calorie burger. Holy shit! Wow. That's well, have you ever seen a fifty cal? It's meant to like shoot a hole in a tank. This is America, yeah. of course we've seen a 50 cal. <laughs> that's so I guess there's a video on YouTube of someone cooking bacon on a machine gun. Yeah. I would say that should be step one. There's stations, and each one is a part of the firing range. Mm -hmm. There'll be like the Desert Eagle station, and that's where you like, you toast the bun. Mm. Can you uh, open this restaurant in America so I can never go there? Why should you never turn your back on a penguin? Then you couldn't see how cute it is, or because that's rude and it'll hurt their feel. <laughs> I like that. <laughs> Mother Super Teresa's true. deepest secret. Actually just a horrible okay, person for real or favorite. her dick. Someone yeah, all right. is gonna be in trouble <laughs> for this one. <laughs> <laughs> and it's not gonna be me, so uh <laughs> Josh. <laughs> it's so clearly Josh. <laughs> <laughs> Are you like an evil villain? <laughs> Did you just move? Uh -huh. That's the most happy laugh I've ever heard. <laughs> what? I didn't know when Val spoke to Was she actually a bad person, though? Or was she yeah, like a good person who also did some bad things? She did, she did some fucked up things. Purely really terrible things. The big conspiracy that nobody even suspects is it was me the whole time or Stevie Wonder can see. <laughs> Dude, that would shock me to my core. Yeah, that'd be pretty wild. If he just took the sunglasses off and he had perfectly normal eyes underneath. Oh my god. Yeah. What if he had super like... eyes and he could see better than everyone? <laughs> if he just pulled that like on his deathbed, he's like, I could see this whole damn time. That was kind of racist to give him that voice. Yeah, that was... yeah, that was it. unnecessary. Sorry. <laughs> it's honestly a real conspiracy, which is even better. Really? It's he caught a microphone? Wait, you're telling me somebody Dude. threw something at Stevie Wonder and he caught it with his hands? A great way to cure that's, first off, whoever threw that, that's like your do or die moment. Because if you threw something at a blind man and it hit him in the face. The mic oh, fell no. and he caught it midair. That's even better. That's amazing. I got tweeted many videos and of they what? say, is Stevie Wonder really blind? <laughs> I'm serious. <laughs> is this I a real really conspiracy theory? It really is. It really Man, is. I actually love the olden days when conspiracy theories were about Stevie Wonder being blind and right? not about, like the lizard and people. And not like the deep state. Yeah, yeah. like still like, trying to fuck people in pizza places and stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's it is, is and it's on Reddit. <laughs> That's... <laughs> Lizard people are real, jackass. That's what they say about that. Yeah, that's what that's they say point, about yeah. that. <laughs> Stevie Wonder's <laughs> real name is Stevland? <laughs> Dude, did you know Oprah's real name is Orpa? Stevland! Orpa? Orpa. Let's tell Orpa. Stevland Orpa? Is she a seal? <laughs> Her name is Orpa. I'm not like She was a showgirl. She changed it to Oprah. That hand. sounds like Orpa. something that would follow the title Godzilla vs. <laughs> <laughs> what deer would use for bait if they hunted hunters? Porn or barbecue brisket baby back buckshot? <laughs> 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 he didn't see it until he started. <laughs> it's a doubly good answer because it's deer buckshot. I mean, that's mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. barbecue brisket baby back buckshot. Yeah.
<laughs> kidney beans, garbanzo beans, <laughs> black beans, and three Do onions. The woods have Wi-Fi access now? <laughs> This is your chili recipe. Rolled together and slow cooked over a burning fire of tires. It's voting time. Roasted over a phosphorus grenade lit by a AK-49. In a cast basalt pan. The Katy Perry Super Bowl halftime show would have been better with more sharks or J-Lo's nips flip flooping out in the background. The background? What the fuck? That's amazing. Amazing. That's cobalt. I have... Shut up! J Lo's <laughs> nips flip flooping out in the background. Out in the, the background. background. <laughs> Dan wouldn't fit. even say background. <laughs> I wanted to put the little ice clip, the little <laughs> symbol, but I couldn't fit oh, in the grid. I mean, they're watching football, so they probably sound like that. <laughs> out in the background. I won't see J Lo's nips flip flooping out in the background. <laughs> No, Celebrity, <laughs> candid, full frontal barbecue. <laughs> no, don't Funny add barbecue to that. Around. You can't barbecue celebrities. Lather <laughs> Katy Perry up in barbecue sauce. <laughs> you raise. Can't get over the idea that everything that's small continues on indefinitely and everything that large is large as well, and it's sort of like a Mobius strip. So like you go down through the bottom and you end up at the top again. And then I get to the stop and I go for a ride. <laughs> then I get to the bottom and I see you again. I know what you're talking about, man. <laughs> <laughs> Helter Skelter. <laughs> like, imagine the whole universe was just one molecule. <laughs> and Gorda, I'm amazed that a resident, uh, we have a resident physicist in our chat. Thank you for being here. A resident physicist, oh, otherwise God. known as a resident sleeper. Am I oh, right? Oh, 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 Fucking stupid science, bitch! Get on! I disagree with what God. they're saying. I think you're, you're We're better than you with games, I bet. <laughs> I mean, you don't have to be that smart to be a physicist. Okay, next one. Brian, you just gotta get a degree in physics. <laughs> it's not that hard. Tens of thousands of people do it every year. The best shirt to wear next to somebody who's wearing an I'm with stupid t-shirt. Yeah, I'm stupid. What about it, bitch? Or what's a computer? <laughs> <laughs> There's a super easy, extremely current events joke to be made here. If anyone, ah, uh, it's uh, aware of what I don't happened. care. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there yeah, you go. Yeah, yeah. There you go. That's the one. Oh God. <laughs> it's, it's the real world, by the way. I can't fucking I believe that. it, dude. I don't even want to know. I'm telling you, we gotta talk about science or porn. We're really just like on the one or two right now. Yeah, Chad. Would you prefer the porn or the science? Can we do math-based porn? Geometry sure, porn? Yeah. Numbers Geometry, fucking. Yeah. What's the sexiest number? 69. Let me no, answer. like a single That's digit. Obvious. I'm gonna an single. answer your question with another seven. question. Why is six afraid of seven? Afraid of seven, because seven ain't nine. <laughs> Eight's got curves. Everyone's saying eight. <laughs> oh, because yeah. if you turn it sideways, it's booty infinity. Yeah, eight is pretty sexy, Isn't that right? a Stanley yeah. Parable thing? I kind of like nine. Why? Nine. Cause it's got something for everybody. It's got a it's whole. It's got a whole end of protrusion. Next oh, that's yeah. fair. And if it's you like, turn it, it's, it's like a Swiss it Army like chicken balls. Yeah. Well, yeah. What's what's better, six or nine? Ladies oh, love my balls. protrusion. <laughs> well, if the typography is correct, I mean, it's just a reflection of the other yeah. one. So. Which one gets the line? Neither. I feel like I always end up with that question. Whenever I play a board game, they always put a line under one of them. But uh, then whenever I, the line, whenever I roll it, I have to be yeah. like, wait, do they put the line under the six or the nine? We got uh, Magic the Gathering decks at GameStop yesterday, me and Jess. And uh, they came with dice, and they do a little dot at the bottom right. Oh, that's pretty cool. Yeah. Listen, bitch. Coming up next, <laughs> it's not a dice, really motherfucker. It's a, it's a spin die. down counter <laughs> in order to right. measure oh. your life <laughs> when you look right. at That's a dice it, does yeah. it go one two three four five six contiguously that would lead to clumped variants and weighted rolls <laughs> i had this happen many times well, twice, but that's more than it ever should have. Where you'd be at Friday Night Magic and you'd be like, roll to see who goes first, and you'd use your spin down, and the person would be like, nah, we're gonna use this dice, because it's more random. And you're like, all right, it's gonna be, you know what? I resign, and, uh... <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, I would I would probably shoot myself. It's going to be one of those, so <laughs> you can take the win on this one. Well, actually, during your main phase, you can't declare uh, Talk about the stack. Oh, come on, if it's the rules. <laughs> Don't get mad at that guy. Judge! Oh my god. <laughs> All right, yeah, I really wanted to lean into that one. <laughs> the shit out of me. <laughs> <laughs> Using only two words, a new state motto for Texas. Who dat or bullet brisket? Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, really all right. All right. Yeah. Mm, I know. I want to go mm, as soon as I hear it. Ah, <laughs> uh, Texas. I think that is one of the best bits that's come out of the NLSS. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. Coming soon to a theater near you, Benedict Cumberbatch is benevolent Cuntenstein or Benedict. <laughs> Or Benedict Cumberbatch is not hungry but could eat. I think I just spit on my monitor. <laughs> <laughs> the second one's really good too, honestly. Oh. Really good. <laughs> don't try to don't try to <laughs> massage the boat, Ryan. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's right. 70% bitch. <laughs> yeah, well, 70% of people listened to Coldplay and voted for the Nazis, so... I will stand to defend Coldplay till my dying day! <laughs> what really happened to Amelia Earhart? So I'm not gonna write her husband wasn't around to fly for her. Oh! Whoa. Yeah, yeah, Because no, that why. would be sexist. <laughs> That's yeah. why you don't write it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah That's yeah, why yeah. I said it instead of writing it because I'm not a Got coward. It. I was gonna say she was assassinated by Ted Cruz, the Zodiac killer. <laughs> One second. Less bad. Oh no! Let's see the responses. I don't think he was around back then, though. Votes. Well, what oh, you never know. What really happened to Amelia Earhart? A really big ear fart blew her out. She <laughs> Amelia <laughs> air farted. Am no, I right? Oh no! She flew <laughs> off the flat Earth, or she flew to the moon. <laughs> oh no. Alright, I'm gonna hang up. I gotta get off of this uh, platform because. Uh, well, my wife's got You're a stream. You're moving to Mixer? My wife's got a stream. <laughs> <laughs> Good one. <laughs> <laughs> they can't afford me. <laughs> Ooh. Uh, that's yeah, a challenge, true. Microsoft. Yeah. Anyway, see you there. <laughs> the perfect name for a second head that sprouts on your shoulder. Gary or Jum. Okay, voting time. Pick your favorite. <laughs> Gary, Sherry, Larry. With all your favorite minions, Gary, Sherry, and Larry. Despicable <laughs> me, Minion Rush is the endless runner you've been waiting for with a AAA experience, but mobile compatibility with devices you already own. Tag yourself, I'm Sherry. Uh, <laughs> more like Despicable Meme. <laughs> I don't know if it's time to finally... Uh, crack open this Champions of Fire story where Max and I were sitting together um, while the, the host was trying to do the ad reads that would play during the commercial breaks and he kept I mean it's not his fault he was given the script like two seconds before but he was trying to read like the Crossy Road script and he kept fucking up because he said Disney Crossy Roads and he'd have to redo like the 90 second spiel every single time he would finish it and be like you know all your favorite Disney characters, including Chip and Dale, Rescue Rangers, Elsa from Frozen, and he'd go on and on and on, and then at the end he'd be like, Play it now in Disney Crossy Roads, and they're like, <laughs> gotta, gotta do it again. They can't just cut it? I guess not. Like, no, they got a 90 second spot in one it would, take. It would mess with the way the word ends. It would be too abrupt. Disney Crossy Roads. I'm not saying like literally cut it off at the end. I'm saying like <laughs> do a new take and um, oh like, oh you mean it, punch it in it at the end. end. Sorry, yeah. I sorry. <laughs> <laughs> all right, they're Amazon. They don't have a lot of money to work with. All right, L listen, okay. Listen, I'm listening. I don't have a joke yet. All right, well I'm waiting. Ryan's la 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 la. <laughs> Oh, you're talking about the fucking Witcher song. Yeah. Yes. Like that one. <laughs> That's the one. Oh, I love this. <laughs> A slogan to get everyone excited about corn. Tell them Federer is playing or mmm. 
Mmm, it's sweet, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> That wasn't long enough. That was at least like that needed to be twice as long. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Sweet bitch. <laughs> I wasn't willing to go that Dave Chappelle on it, oh. which is fine. I'm glad someone did. That's how I talk. Ain't you never seen one of my movies? <laughs> The name of a board game for players age 70 and older. Life, but it's only the last four spaces, or Monster Time Old Game. Both oh, extremely that's, great. That's a really good answer, fuck. <laughs> oh, there's such a better answer to this, I'm an idiot. What Waldo right, well. from Where's Waldo says to himself in the mirror. I'm here, or don't worry, I know where you are. No, the correct answer to this prompt is nobody ever asks how's Waldo. Oh, <laughs> that's the better answer. That's Damn it, so much dude! Why did I think of it afterward, man? That's oh, how it always Austin. happens. Come on, you always man. think of the best quips in the shower after the game. <laughs> I wonder if you've eaten enough butts if you can appreciate the nuance between one and another. <laughs> you think so or no? Like a like a sommelier, but yeah, a like you kind of come to appreciate the subtleties. <laughs> sommelier. <laughs> <laughs> it works twice, actually. <laughs> it works too many times. Yeah, yeah. The yeah, name of the music funny. playlist okay, that will right. definitely put an end to the party. Clap your hands if you eat fish with a fork, or Scott Stapp's <laughs> the party. Dude, bear, congratulations on your Scott Stapp answer, which is extremely good. Thank roasted, you. roasted. Because the idea is that if Scott Stapp tried to keep the party going, he would end it accidentally. Also, <laughs> it's, it's playing words. Scott Stapp staps, staps the, the party, party, dude. How about it's short uh, for Stapp is. I get, I get it. it. I get it. Uh, That's a clip. What if he came down with a Scott Stapp infection? Mm. Excuse me. There'd be no party. Oh. Uh, it lost. Wow, you know what's fucked up? First off, it lost. Secondly, I looked and was like, why doesn't it say I voted for Bear? You know why? My answer was the other answer. That's how good Scott Stapp <laughs> the party was. You know how people insult each other? Sometimes people like spit on each other, right? That's like really derogatory. It's really demeaning. Uh, do you think that there's any context which you can do something to demean someone but it actually could be only taken as demeaning. So what I'm thinking is... What? Sometimes people like to spit on each other for, like, sexy time reasons. So I'm trying to <laughs> just figure out if there's, like, a specific thing you can do that is only demeaning and no one would enjoy. I don't think people spit on I... each other for sexy time. Yeah, they spit into each other's mouths for some reason. No. <laughs> Cutting off someone's arm? Someone could like that. I don't think I like that, but I think someone out there might. I don't think anyone out there likes that. Is there anything you can do to demean someone that can only be taken as demeaning, regardless of context? Uh, you spit on someone to make fun of them, to go, I hate you, you're a bad, bad old dude. Hey. Is it possible that someone might take that as like, ooh, I'm so turned on, you spit on me, that's hot. Yeah, probably. Right, so is there anything that no one would find like that? Awesome. Hey, I'm demeaning you. Yeah. I don't believe you. You know how in Japan and Korea, they have a great system called bidet? Mm. Do you think mm -hmm. those people think the Westerners are the poopy butts? Like, yeah, probably. Because probably. They, yeah. don't, they don't have clean butts, and then yeah. they think like, oh, look at all these Westerners walking around with the poopy butts. They probably, in their red light districts, are like, no eating ass. It's not happening, Westerners. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but have you seen so that, you like, self-cleaning toilet seat that somebody took a shit on? I and then it, like, <laughs> Wait a minute. The Westerners would be eating the asses of the Easterners, so the poopy butts would actually be eating the clean butts. What's Who the problem with that? is going to the red light district to eat a prostitute's ass? <laughs> <laughs> You're definitely going to get your own ass eaten. Who we'll got a guy who's flying all the way across the globe and is like, I'll pay you 500 bucks to eat your A pussy. guy that's run out of options, dude. Oh, he's gotta get no. his way. He's gotta get his kick somehow. I think my daily life is quiplash. Because I just walk around doing stuff and then just kind of think of all these questions and I just kind of wonder. There you go. I thought you were going to say today... you walk around eating ass. No, no, no Robert. 
Robert. I'm a Westerner <laughs> with a dirty butthole. USA, USA, America's still number one in owning libs or mass shootings. Oh. No vote? No, not a no vote. It's just a <laughs> vote you feel bad about, like the 2016 election. A little too soon. That's I mean, when, will, when soon. won't it be? Yeah. For fuck's sake. Yeah, maybe it's not too soon. Maybe it's not too soon. I think Nick said the same thing. Maybe it's not too soon. It's too late. <laughs> I got 69. <laughs> <laughs> nice, dude. Oh, that's the sex number. Six number. Northern Line, the only reasonable one here voting mass shootings. Mm. There's a great out of context quote for later. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ryan's a single issue voter. Yeah, yeah. That's true. Two times as much More as that just one thing. I'm a single tissue voter. <laughs> <laughs> Something you don't want to find in your Christmas stocking. Lumps right, yeah. of hamster shit shaped like Tom Cruise. Tom Cruise. <laughs> Tom Cruise. Or HIV slash AIDS. That's his yeah. porn name, Tom Cruise. Oh, I thought his yeah, porn name yeah, was HIV. Oh, no, no, yeah. no. <laughs> I'm just trying to show you what an offensive answer kind of looks like. <laughs> That was like a Cards Against Humanity card. You should never blank and blank at the same time. Play Quiplash and be mouth at the same time, or dash doors and hub grubs at the same time. <laughs> it would really suck if you were a professional fisherman place that catered to them and you had this store called Grubhub and then, you know, nobody wanted to go to you anymore as they think you deliver food. Mm. Or they walk in and be like, well, I don't get it. Why do you need a store? I thought you just delivered yeah, I got all the grubs are right here. It's the hub. You can buy them. A not very scary name for a pirate. Ashley or Gary? <laughs> wow. We're really on the yeah. same page with that. Yeah. Dude, Gary is my most fearsome rival in Pokemon. So. The most feared man on the Blackwater. <laughs> Gary the pirate. <laughs> no, not even about pirate. It's just well, Gary. I'm picturing that Ashley is a male Ashley. Yes. Okay, and that yeah. means he's going to be tough because he had to deal with being he teased. Had to be. mm -hmm. So that's a very scary name. If any of you primitives even think about touching me. Is, is this from Ashley Pirates Club? of the Caribbean? Nah, it's from Evil Dead Army of uh, Darkness. Because Pirates Which of the Caribbean, just called Army of it Darkness. comes out on Netflix uh, in happen. Canada this month. Shades of gray, as far as you know. That's awesome. cool. Oh, really? If you ever want to finish the movie, Austin. Time to vote. Did someone say too much testosterone? <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite yeah. basketball movie? That's a great Air question. Uh, Flubber, I guess. Yeah, that's <laughs> a good Technically <laughs> counts, yeah. Yeah, I think so. Um, he does I mean, play my, basketball on that. My honest, real answer is probably Space Jam. Oh, I haven't seen that in so long. I wonder if it holds up. No, White man can't jump. Yeah, I remember. I actually like that movie on Iron. I remember thinking at eight years old, "Wow, Michael Jordan can't act." That was eight. Oh. <laughs> so that's, that's all I'm saying. In uh, grade three, we had well, I mean, all through public school, we had book reports, and I read the book for Space oh, Jam. Oh no! <laughs> the novelization the for Space Jam. <laughs> And then we I, I remember. I, I remember oh, the oh. fucking cover to that book, wasn't it? Like yeah. it was like black with the planet on it. And That's it was all with... Space Jam related merchandise. <laughs> okay, yeah. But... <laughs> it had Michael Anyways. Jordan's silhouetted face, and then all the Looney Tunes behind him. Yeah. yeah. Well, I mean, it I, was that. <laughs> I did the book report on it, and then I I got it marked and and given back, and there was like you know I had a lower mark, and and a bunch of red was on it. And oh no. The, my teacher thought I didn't know how to spell monsters because I was <laughs> monsters. <laughs> so I had to go back up and be like, no, no, no. <laughs> like, <laughs> you need to watch the movie. <laughs> okay, Ralph, you should have taken a piece of paper and written a big F and circled it and handed it to your teacher. Yeah. And said, you failed knowing about Space Jam, yeah, teacher. Exactly, dude. Three. I mean, I wanted to do that. And then but you should I also... have punched her in the throat. Yeah. <laughs> Just chopped her right, right down. And then throwing her flowers in the garbage like Ryan. Yeah. Come up with a name for the most difficult yoga pose known to mankind. The inward facing dog or the interpose? <laughs> the second thing said on the moon. Did you bring a phone charger or cut? Ah. Oh. 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 Uh -oh. Yeah. 
Are you allowed to come? That may be like the only permissible way to come in the Mormon church is a night of mission. Well, I know when you <laughs> sit down on the toilet and you missed and accidentally sat on the plunger and then you jizzed. Would that be a lot? a million shots. <laughs> yeah, no. I mean, that's happening to all of us, guys. You that's a lot definitely of questions. You have to go talk to your bishop about it because that's like, okay. you're really, you're, you're getting on to dangerous. You guys dirt. have bishops? Yeah. Oh, dude, do they only move diagonally? <laughs> 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 that's a joke. Now that's a joke I can get behind. M MVP joke of today. That was MVP. So funny because it was so bad. No, it was, I loved it. It was well timed no, and adequately uttered. That's all. A beautiful it needed. stream of lols. That was, that was literally uh, like a badonch. I don't know. Briefly, I read everything in chat in. Michael Caine's voice from the 1968 film The Italian Job. Oh, Dan Giesing. Nice of you to finally arrive. So this is what becomes a show called Unity. Do the energy crystals. We'll find the energy crystals. We'll find Dr. Wowie. Master Wayne. Get my car, Jeffrey. I don't know what that... Am I Jeffrey because I'm speaking British? Or, and that's a butler's name? Or am I supposed to say, get my car, Jeffrey. The prestige. When does the funny part of the show start? Tomorrow. Ten to ten. One second. Michael Caine prestige quotes. He's got some good lines in this movie, dude. Every great magic trick consists of three parts of X. The first part is called the pledge. All right, I'm losing it. Yeah, it's becoming like New Zealand. <laughs> the magician shows you something ordinary. A deck of cards, a bird, or a man. He shows you this object. Perhaps he asks you to inspect it, see if it's indeed real, unaltered, and normal. Why wax these windows when you can wash these drawers? It's like goofy. Why? Why wash the windows when you can wax these drawers? Not a good goofy. I'm going to go because I'm feeling goofy. NL and Dan Yaoi fanfic writer. Don't think I don't know what that is. I just told you I will read out anything for $5. I've done it. Oh, you think you have, but no, I don't No, I mean, we... Take a look. Worst Maybe person we on it. to narrate the audiobook of Fifty Shades of Grey. Like. Mathis, Steve Buscemi, my Korean mom, Ryan Letourneau, Mr. Toshi, or Alex Jones. It's a good crew. <laughs> yeah, this is pretty good. <laughs> my mom has stronger accent than Mr. Toshi. <laughs> I can change that pretty easily. <laughs> <laughs> God damn it, you did actually. Huh? Dude, as soon as I thought of Mr. Toshi, I was like, this is yeah. an audience favorite. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's one way to describe it. <laughs> it was all just a seed I did several weeks ago. The name of a toilet paper specifically designed for the Queen of England. Oh, this is too good! I feel like everyone's gonna answer it exactly the same. Not nobody else. It has the twisted neurological pathways that lead them to this. This is when you put a Plinko puck on the far left and it goes dead center. Her ladies' hiney wipes, Charmillion, Liz Gloss, Sterling Buns, or the British Pound. <laughs> Which one was yours? Liz Gloss. I don't get it. Her name's Elizabeth and it, I mean, she makes her bum hole shiny. Gloss. That is horrible. It makes her butthole shiny. Liz Gloss. I don't think buttholes can shine no matter how much you polish them. You gotta get at least a bidet on them for that. I cannot believe you are proud of that. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I voted for offense. you. Yeah, thank you. You know the problem is you're too old for this game. I think that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> You gotta, you gotta register to the Fortnite dance club. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I would do some Fortnite dances. Dude, we do you should do Fortnite, dances? Fortnite dances. I could dab. That's not really a dance. You wouldn't even dance with us at fucking PAX. Dude. Well, that's because yeah, it just came out of nowhere. It's like a weird kind of spontaneous. So cool. thing. That's the best oh, kind of wow. dancing. Fun. No, it was like a holds up sport for me. No, it wasn't. It was a lot Excuse of fun, me. and you look like a dummy. If I could yeah. learn how to floss, I would do it on every. Oh, or justice, I gotta. Because. I need clean teeth. Cha, 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 cha. That's all right, I had to. No, please. I would love to learn how to do Orange Justice. I would do it all the time. 
Until the third time I did it and irreparably destroyed the cartilage in my knee. <laughs> I think you can do the hammer one. Yeah, hype. I gotta learn that too. You know I don't play about that paper. Something you can only do in Walmart if no one's looking. Bang in the car stereo section or smile. I feel like that's specific enough to have a story attached. Well, have you ever to been it. inside of a Walmart? I uh, yeah. Nobody's smiling. Oh, well, I, I, I think I meant the other one. <laughs> to be honest. Well, you guys never banged in the car stereo section? Do they sell car stereos at Walmart? They have a yeah, whole man. section for car stereos? Nobody <laughs> ever goes back there. That's where you bang if you're gonna. I remember, yeah. like, I'd go to a future shop with my dad in, like, 1998. They'd have a hundred car stereos, and you'd push the buttons on them. But, like, I thought that I've they, never banged in the car stereo section I thought that that changed back in, like, the year 2000. Game. <laughs> no, I still got him. Walmart's Probably earlier still. than that, right? <laughs> An ill-advised outfit to wear to your first day at a new job. Burger King outfit to McDonald's, or that one that Two-Face wears in the 90s movie. Ah, uh, yes, I believe it was called Batman. <laughs> 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 Everything I've ever heard about Tommy Lee Jones is that he's, like, completely humorless and a real asshole to work with. Aww. The, which is no, it's so much better this way. He seems so cool. That's Imagine awesome. him having to suit up in that ridiculous outfit and spend like two hours in the makeup chair every single day to film Batman Forever is hilarious. Probably why he's mad. Man, this is the worst final quiplash ever. Yeah, I, yeah, I, that's yeah, that's pretty bad. I hate this. Yeah, that's that's terrible. Oh, I answered the same thing as someone else! <laughs> oh, dude! Why so serious? Oh my god. I'm, pick <laughs> I'm Pickle Rick. Oh, I hate this. Crippling debt. Look around, bitch, we die in here. Or I'm Tommy Lee Jones. How come funerals are never at night? Because you can't probably see where the whole rent is. Yeah. <laughs> well, no, like what I'm thinking. Oh my is god! Did you just <laughs> Because you, you can't see where the hole is. I mean, where the hole in the ground where you bury him, Rob. Oh That's my god. god. That was horrible. All right. Have you seen The Passion of the Christ? One, no. two, three. No. 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 None of us yet. have seen The Passion of the Christ. I haven't seen it. It made I've like told... $900 million at the box I, office. I, I, I've told the story of why I haven't watched it, right? Like, you, know, you guys know. I also have a story. <laughs> <laughs> the reason that I haven't watched it is because when it came out, my dad, who's like faux religious, mm. we were gonna we were gonna do it as like our you know once every two weeks movie night, and he was like, oh, but see, you're not holy enough to watch. Wow! Wow! So, yeah. Yeah. so I was just like, all right, well, fuck it. I'm never watching that movie, I guess. I was religious when it came out, and my family was, and I wanted to see it, and they were like, it's too violent for you. Uh, I never saw it because I saw the scene of him being whipped enough that I figured that was pretty much the whole movie, so I didn't really need to go beyond that. Yeah, yeah. they just do that for two hours, so... I already got blasted with enough propaganda in my religious years <laughs> to not have to go see that film. Yeah, there you go. We yeah. could watch it on movie night. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure Mel would. <laughs> I can't He's believe... probably cool about it. Five left-leaning atheists haven't seen the Passion of the Christ. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm agnostic, sir. How dare you? You can be an agnostic atheist. Oh yeah, I guess.